so now let's look at the following past exam questions november 2014 indicate whether the following statement are true or false a positive pulse on the gate of an scr will allow the scr to switch on is true the reason is true remember we said <clears throat> for an scr remember we said j1 j3 they are forward bias and then j2 it is reverse bias and then <clears throat> in order for the gate to be on you must apply a positive clock to the gate when the positive clock is applied to the gate the j2 will also become a forward bias and then the circuit is gonna be on so the circuit will only be on when positive is applied to the gate And then April 2015, indicate whether the following statement are true or false. 1.15, an SCR has three junctions. Yes, this one is true. Remember, <coughs> a diode, it has one junction. A transistor, it has two junctions. And then a SCR, it, is, it has one, two, three junctions. And then 1.2, various options are, provide, are provided as possible, as possible answers to the following questions. Choose the answer. Okay, there's no 1.2. 3.2, transients occur when an SCR is switched on and can have disastrous consequences for the circuit. Remember, we said transients... <coughs> Transients, they are unwanted voltages or unwanted currents that can cause a damage to the circuit. So in order, <coughs> those unwanted voltages, they may cause a damage to the circuit. So we use the following methods to eliminate the transients. So the two methods used to eliminate transients these are the methods lc filters zena diodes and varistors so for a full wave Control of a load, a bridge circuit as shown in figure 3 can be used. So let's check figure 3. 3.31, they see redraw the bridge circuit of figure 3 to show how it can be used as a control AC load. Remember, <coughs> for a static switching, we said the first one, this one, when the load is in series with the supply, it's for AC voltage, and then when the load is in series with the AC, they are it's for a DC voltage so it means you're gonna redraw the circuit and then you wanna for AC you're gonna show the load in series with the supply and then for DC you're gonna show the load in series with the SCR And then August 2015, various options are given as possible answers to the following questions. 1.9, an SCR is a APC. The correct one, <coughs> it is number C. It is formed by two transistors and then it has three terminals. And then 6.1, name the methods used of controlling an SCR. These are the methods that are used to control SCR. Is static switching, phase control, cycle control, and cyclotronic control. And then you must define the term transients. And then we set the transients. <coughs> they are unknown voltages or currents that they are used to damage the circuit. They are temporary short duration 
is a temporary short duration during which non voltages or currents will change from existing values to new values. And then March 2016 indicate whether the following statement are true or false. First commutation is used in direct currents. This one is true. First commutation is applied to DC circuits only. And then 6.1, a silicon control rectifier can be controlled by using four different methods. 6.11, the first one, this method of control is a combination of phase and cycle control. This one is a cyclotronic control. Remember we said cyclotronic control is the combination of phase control and cycle control. They use number of cycle and a timer to 10 SCR on. This method of control is achieved by switching the control device on for a number of full cycles. No, 6.12, this method is used when the SCR perform simple switching. This one is for static switching. We use the static switching to perform a simple switching. And then 6.13, this method of control is achieved by switching the control device on for a number of full cycles and then switching the control device off for a number of cycles this one is for a cycle control we use the number of cycles to turn the scr on and off six point one four this method of control is achieved by controlling the time at which the gate of the SCR. This one is for a phase control. We use a timer to switch on the SCR. A holding current. Remember we said a holding current is the minimum current required to hold the SCR. In its conducting state an SCR can be represented by means of two transistors yes it can be represented by means of two transistors remember we said then SCR it is formed by two transistors